श्री विपुल शाह चेयरमैन जेम्स एंड ज्वेलरी एक्सपोर्ट प्रमोशन काउंसिल श्री विमल चंद सुराना कन्वीनर जयपुर ज्वेलरी शो श्री सिद्धार्थ सिंह जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स श्री राजीव जैन सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द शो श्री प्रेमकाला जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द शो श्री हरीश सोनी ज्वेलरी एंथुसियस पार्टिसिपेंट्स कस्टमर्स लेडीज एंड जेंट्स आई एम डिलाइटेड टू बी हियर दिस मॉर्निंग नॉट सो मच एज द गवर्नर द राइजन when the invitation came um uh, you know the usual processing in my secretariat they said ye to aapke liye nahi hai uh you know upar, upar. Said, your show. Upar. i said theek hai aap kuch bhi boliye main ja raha i do not get a chance to walk in and out of jewelry shops in jaipur so everybody talks about them i have my guests who walk in and out and come back with fabulous items but i am you know as you know behind closed doors so i said this is the only opportunity i'm going to get not to buy but at least to look at the dish so i'm here this morning on my own this is the 11th jaipur jewelry show we women have been the raison d'etre for jewels as art and as business since in the royal times and today i think the best designers of jewelry everywhere are women but i'm sorry beat the archaeological finds at the sites of ancient civilizations like mohenjo-daro or the advertisements today in glossy magazines they all depict women's special born ritual I hope the gentlemen at the helm of the industry, in the spirit of consumer is king, will coin a new slogan for this industry, where consumer is queen. I think that would be more important. <laughs> Jaipur has been hosting art festivals, uh, the literary festival. and uh, you know it has become the center a uh, hub for various platforms which showcase not just rajasthan but the country's achievements as well and therefore very happy that jewelry and gems for which rajasthan is so famous itself is now making uh, if i may say so a permanent a place in jaipur for its exhibitions every year i come from a state where the coal and gold fields were famous we supplied all the coal we had whole communities what we call in the south the vishwakarma community they were traditional jewelers and particularly my constituency of karwa next to goa has been famous for hand crafted jewelry in fact when i was mp from there i did try very much to have a jewelry park because it's goa folk was next door a jewelry park for hand made jewelry but before i could go too far i lost the next election and so it has still been kept aside uh, i must say that this exhibit i think uh what do you call it the show i'm sorry the show ever since its inception launched in 2003 with 67 stores has become so popular and has grown to reach i think this time 465 stores 457 stores and it's increasing every year and i'm sure the ruby exhibition will see more than 500 uh capture as your press release says like oh 
people will get to see the latest in fashion from traditional heavy gold ornaments to lightweight jewelry. Those who are looking for fashion accessories and stone studded jewelry will not be disappointed. Both yellow and white gold ornaments are set to be a rage this year. Also, Kundalina jewelry is expected to continue to be one of the main attractions at the show. The specialization of the city in terms of jewelry has been one important criteria for participation each year. They are all from Rajasthan, right? This year, you have diamond jewelry. Jaipur adds color to it as your theme. Yet another attraction of the show, I understand, is the KJS Indian, Indian Jewelers Choice Awards, which will be announced, I think, on the 20th. Oh, today it's set. Oh, today it's set. Uh, the award will be given to the best of the 500 entries received from 80 companies across 24 products. I congratulate you on this initiative because I see from the note that it is the retailers who consult the buyers and then vote. So it is not just a jury of six or seven people sitting behind closed doors and deciding. It is really, if I may say so, a popularity contest. India with its traditional attachment to jewelry is one of the biggest importers of gold in the world. However, gold and jewelry as non-essential items also attract heights in import duties, particularly when the governments are faced with foreign exchange crunch. While the jewelry trade complains of hardship, others say that the, that the trade has no problems because it always sources other, procure through other sources. I don't say what. In other words, jewelry and uh, trade, jewelry trade and governments have a volatile love hate relationship. I'm sure in your deliberations over the next four days, you will explore ways to ensure sustained growth of your business and trade. The Jaipur Jewelry Show has emerged as a forum to address trade related issues and promote contact between businesses and consumers. The show engaging in theme based promotions is promoting diamond jewelry this time and I'm sure you will do hell of a lot of business before you go back.